Kareem Struess. Also two guys that have been going through some injuries. They were combined one for 28 in games four and five. Then they had 31 combined in game six. Zeke, what did those two guys do differently? And is this exactly what they need with Tyler Hero out with that groin injury? They, they made big, timely shots at the right time. But more importantly, they kept their confidence. And they're, you know, these are these are these are big momentum shots. You know, Boston was, you know, in in the process of, you know, getting back into the game, taking control of the game. Struess made a couple of shots. Then Lowry made a couple of shots. But you know, where the shot making ability comes from, and the confidence comes from, is hey, they put in the work. They practice. So they believe in their practice habits. They believe in their skills. So the one for 28 combined doesn't bother two guys like that who have put in the work practicing. Now, if we're talking about two guys who don't practice, they one for 28, psychologically, they're messed up for about two months because they haven't laid the foundation to be able to bounce back from bad games. Those who lay the foundation, they're able to bounce back from bad games, bad moments, because they can get back into their comfort zone. We understand the fact that Jalen Brown puts in that work. Mm -hmm. He missed those two free throws late in the fourth quarter. Jason Tatum had seven turnovers, including four in the fourth quarter. Not a lot of time for that to linger for them. But again, that pressure. The, for these Celtics, that pressure is on Tatum and Brown. For them, yesterday, today, going into game seven, how do they let that go and get ready for this a uh, game that could end their season. You know, when, when you're trying to win a championship, you know, pressure comes with what we do. And, you know, Jalen Brown will bounce back, just like Tatum will bounce back. And when you look at, you know, the two missed free throws, you look at the four turnovers by Tatum, the thing that we know is those things are correctable, right? Even though uh, they happen in, in, in crucial times and crucial moments of the game, these two are capable of bouncing back, and they will bounce back. We've seen them play extremely well out on the road. And then they have the experience. You know, this is a Celtic team. You know, this is their third appearances in the Eastern Conference Finals um, without playing LeBron James, <laughs> you know? So, you know, they have the experience to bounce back. This is a time where they can break through. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if they do. But I have no doubt in my mind that, that Tatum and Brown will play better uh, the next game than they did the last. Yeah, and for Marcus Smart and uh, Jalen Brown, that's four Eastern Conference Finals for them. I mean, Ooh, this has four. been an incredible yeah. run. For, They've been for knocking on the door group. for a while, so they got experience. Does that, you know, put itself in the back of their minds? It's a team like you're trying to get over that hump. You got a game seven. And in this series, the road team has been winning. So like home court advantage doesn't seem to matter that much. But for Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, do you think at all they're thinking, man, we've never been to the finals. We're right here. This is our turn. We're no longer, you know, behind Kyrie Irving or, you know, the, the rookies on this team. This is our team. This is a game seven for us to get there, just like in the Bucs series. Hey, I can only go back to my mindset when we were trying to beat Boston, trying to break through. And we finally got to the point where it was like, you know what? It's time for us to win. And my mindset was, I'm getting ready to beat the out of you. <laughs> you know? And, and that's, how Bo that's how Boston have to go into Miami. They have to go into there thinking that, okay, we're, we're, we're not holding anything back, but we're getting ready to beat the life out of this team that we're getting ready to play.